Hey guys, happy day, whatever day it is. I don't even know what day this is going up. I'm filming in advance as I usually do. Uh, this will probably go up a week from now. But anyway, how's everyone doing? I hope you're doing great. Make sure you let me know in the comment section how you guys are doing today. I am really happy. I have my little friend over here, my hand on the coffee. We are going to play around with a few products that I haven't tried before. I know, you're like, you haven't tried that? Yet? Yeah, I haven't tried it before, but I'm kind of excited. I feel like you guys really enjoy first impressions videos, um, which makes me really happy because I tend to try like a lot of products throughout the month. So um, I generally used to just put the makeup on my face, see how it wore throughout the day and see whether or not I liked it. But you guys like these whole try on things. So we're doing that today. This is not gonna be first impressions, but it's gonna be like the primer that I use for today. It is silicone free, a priming moisturizer by Good Molecules. I like it. You know, it feels like a lotion. You don't need a lot. We are gonna declutter primers too, cause I have an entire acrylic cave of just primers. And I was looking at it and guys, there's primers from like four years ago. It's time to chuck them. Also, um, let me know if you guys want another favorites video. I didn't get to do one last month and this one, I'm gonna end up like adding extra stuff. But my skin, no texture. My under eyes are getting brighter. I feel like the puffiness is getting better. I've been using a product for like a week and I noticed the difference with my eyes, like visually. Um, I also feel like if I do this, it looks so much better. But anyway, if you guys want me to feature like skincare, I know, skincare, who, her? Yeah, if you guys want me to feature like skincare um, and like my go-tos, which I'm excited about, in the next uh, favorites video, you need to let me know. I'm so excited. Okay, so first product I'm gonna use that I haven't used before. We are going to try a dollar <laughs> foundation. I know, you're like a dollar foundation. I don't know, we're gonna see how it goes. Uh, what number are you? I don't even think it has a number on it anymore. It doesn't have my number. I'll look for the number and I'll add it here on screen. But I got this on Shop Miss A. I got this at the haul that I did. And um, I'm thinking of doing the most affordable full face of makeup you can ever imagine creating. Let me know down below also whether or not you guys wanna see it, cause I'm gonna do it anyway for myself, but if you guys want me to film it so we can see how it goes, let me know. I don't know if it'll be great or not, but we can attempt it, you know? I think it would be fun, it would be different. You know, I think a lot of us are on a budget or just building our makeup collection. So, you know, do we have 12, 14, 15, 30, 50 dollars to kind of dump on a foundation just to snag it? No. So if I can find an affordable uh, foundation and base and all that good stuff that we can use to create a full on makeup look and keep it under 20 bucks, I think that would be a challenge, but I think it would be fun. So um, I'm thinking of doing that. Let me know if you guys want to see that. Okay, so mm, mm, it doesn't give you full coverage. I'm going to tell you that, but it evened out the redness that I had on my cheeks. So I'm not mad. I think it works. And for a dollar, for a dollar, come on. It's more of a like PB cream, kind of. Like, that's what I feel like. It has a little tint of something to even and balance things out. Mm, and it's nice and light. I don't know how this is gonna wear throughout the day. I'm gonna tell you that, so we'll see what happens. And since we're using the dollar foundation, I figured we'd try the dollar concealer. I got mine in the shade Buff. We, we will just see what is going on. I don't like the applicator. Oh, it's kind of like a squeezy thing. Um, I'm gonna apply a little bit because I don't know what's gonna happen. I think the shade buff looks nice for me, like for my under eyes, I think it'll work. I'm gonna use the same brush I used for my face to blend that out. Okay, well, I'm gonna see how it sets and how it plays with everything else. But it blended well, it looks good. It doesn't look bad. I mean, you wouldn't guess it's from the dollar store, kind of, like, kind of like, a, it's not a dollar store, but you know what I mean. And of course, I always set my under eyes this time around. I'm gonna go ahead and set my entire face because Rodeo sent over their loose setting powder. It is their glass powder. Never heard of it, never tried it. They sent it my way and I really appreciate it, along with other products we're gonna try. Um, but guys, look at this packaging. I like this so much. We're gonna take the little sticky thingy out. And this is a powder that you're supposed to like apply all over your face. So to start, I'm just gonna go ahead and set my under eye really quickly, but lightly, because I don't know what's gonna happen with this powder. And then I'm gonna grab a big fluffy brush and apply some of the powder all over my face. 
Okay, so it has like baby itty bitty flex of, I'm gonna say little glitters, but nothing that you can like really see or that look awful. And can I just say, this made my skin look really blurred and I'm loving it. It looks really good. Like I look blurred. Like I look like I have a perfect skin. Like, <laughs> okay, this is not new. I mean, it's kind of new because I, like I just got it like not that long ago, but it's not new here to the channel. Jacqueline's duo, you guys were so freaking right, okay? Okay, you guys were right. And I figured I probably would want to go in and go like grab the darker duo, but I kind of like this one. I like how subtle it is without being subtle. You know what I mean? Like I have so many bronzers that are so much darker that if I wanted to go darker, I totally could. But this one's just so perfect. Like it's perfect, okay? It's perfect for my skin tone. It gives me like the bronze that I want, perfectly called the bronze moment, okay? It just does it, it just does it. It makes me happy, <laughs> it makes me happy. And you guys are always asking about this brush. I know, super tribal, fluffy, beautiful. I love this brush, look how, mm. It is a base blue brush, they sent it over my way. You can actually pay a little more, I think it's like in the 30 buck kind of price range. You can pay a little more and get it engraved with your name so you can get it personalized or you can gift it to someone and have it personalized. So I think that's awesome. They sent it with my name on it. I thought it was so cool. Okay, ping, ping, ping. Mm, we're alive again. I co-sent over one of their Limitless palettes. It is their High Pigment palette number two. I don't even know what it looked like on the inside, so we're gonna wait and see what happens. I hope that we can come up with something cool. Okay, this packaging is cute. It's like that rubber, but not rubber soft type of like feeling situation it's my it's sexy did i call a palette sexy yeah i did okay we could definitely do something with this i'm actually really excited let me grab some brushes wait i forgot i didn't even show you guys this is what the palette number two looks like on the inside she is beautiful i want you guys to vibe with me okay we're gonna keep it like simple but does that even make sense to you guys? Probably not. Like my brain works so different, I know. I'm going to dip into this corner shade here. Oh, damn. Um, excuse my French. Not expecting that. And I tapped out. So, hmm, okay. Okay, I got me a big fluffy brush. Um, so there's no question about the pigmentation on this. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty shook right now because I dipped in once and I was able to apply eyeshadow on both sides this one's blending beautifully um and uh this one too cool okay being that it picked up so much product with no additional product i'm just gonna drag whatever's left on this brush down here i'm not trying to really smoke it out but i'm trying to add a little something something without overdoing it oh my goodness i had no idea that that shade was gonna be that pigmented and I do want to keep this look simple, so I think I want to go in to this kind of champagne shimmer shade. I have never tried the Ico palettes before. This was literally one dip in to the palette, and I was able to do both eyes again. That is insane to me. It really is, and I am not exaggerating. This is a, a beautiful color story. The palette is small enough for you to travel with, which is awesome. And then to top that off. The pigmentation is there. It is very rare to find a palette that can do it all like this. And it's been a minute for me, so I'm excited about it. Okay, we're gonna keep the eyes simple. I think that's simple, and I know you guys are like, really, you're gonna stop there? I think I'm gonna stop there. I think, I think I wanna stop there because next, I wanna try their um, eye call Black Magic. This is their liner, I don't think I have this. Okay, no, I just double checked. I don't have it yet, so this is their Black Magic Liquid Liner Plus Wide Lash. What does that mean, plus wide lash? Okay, so it says features wide lash, and what is that? It is a conditioning trip tripet tattoo. I haven't butchered a word here in a very long time, so kudos to me. Tripeptide complex. I am assuming that's going to help my lashes grow. I'm just assuming. Coffee break. Okay, cool. Ooh, ooh, I'm excited for this. Okay, so this is a brush tip. You guys know how much I love a brush tip liners. I'm so excited for this. I'm not gonna overdo it though. I wanna keep it nice and crisp and clean and small. Cross our fingers.
Alright, man, can we talk about how good that looks? Okay, I'm gonna do my brows off camera because there's really nothing new that I wanna try on here. <laughs> and that takes a good minute, and I'll be right back for the other parts. We are gonna use the mascara by Rodile. It is their black velvet double XL mascara. Do I have this? I remember having this mascara in the past. Um, I believe I got like in a boxy charm or something like that. Uh, very old, old formula. Like not the formula, but like the one that I received was really old. So that's uh, more than likely in the trash. But this is what the wand looks like. Now here's the thing. When it comes to mascaras, I like to show you what it looks like on the lower lash more than on the top. Solely because oftentimes I apply um, lashes. I won't be doing that today. But also... Since I have a wing, it's gonna be hard for you guys to really see how dramatic the the mascara can make your lashes. And yes, I always do two coats, but when you have a wing liner, you kind of really can't see it, so it's kind of unfair to the mascara. So I go in and I do the bottom so that you guys can really see what that looks like. And then I give you guys an idea as to what I see here in person with my own eyeballs directly onto the mirror on the top lashes. The bottoms look good, okay? It's buildable, this is just the one coat and it gave me trauma. It looks good. It doesn't look crazy or spidery or anything. Let me fix this outer corner because it's looking a little funky on me. I didn't, I didn't hit the outer corner properly. I think it looks good. I'm not mad at it. I'm gonna go ahead, build it up at the top. I'm gonna do the two coats and we'll see what happens. Here we have two coats only at the top. The bottom I kept it simple and just did the one coat. I wish right now that I didn't have the liquid liner so you guys can see it. I do not remember exactly how I thought about this mascara first impressions. However, I'm entitled to change my mind every once in a while. And girl, I would totally use this with no makeup just because my lashes look like big time. They look really, really good. Now we're gonna move on to the final steps of Leves, which would be a highlighter, blush, well blush, highlighter, and then a lippy. They sent over their um, blush drops in two different shades. They sent over Frosted Pink, and then they sent over Sunset Kiss. I've mentioned a lot recently that I'm so into like cream blushes. I don't know why, I feel like it just gives you like this beautiful flush and it's so effortless, so um, I've just been into it, so I'm really excited about these. Here's what the packaging looks like. I think the packaging is super cute. Nothing very different, so I'll admit, nothing very different. But I think the packaging is cute, okay? And I haven't tried, like, blush drops. I've done highlighter drops, but not blush drops. And you see, like, these? Can you see, the like, how illuminating they are? They're already, like, shimmery. So we're gonna blend this out. And uh, I have Camila, baby G sitting here in her little like saucer just staring at me like i'm crazy <laughs> i know it's like weird at first even ty was like oh who are you talking to you're talking to nobody there's no one there it's different i know what i do for a living is very different most people don't get it it's definitely awkward at first and then it goes away Ooh, so i really need a highlighter now I don't know. I like this because it's giving me a little bit of flush without looking overly done. It doesn't look heavy. And if anything, my skin looks like glass right now. Poreless and glass. I like this. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm not going to add any more. I wonder what that would look like with nothing else on my face. Just the product on my cheekbones. They also sent over a highlighter, so I am gonna use it. Not that I feel like I need it, because look how pretty this is. That's real. I'm, I'm so into this look right now. But they sent over their peach low lighter. It says lit from within, complexion enhancer. Here's the packaging. Kinda looks like a concealer. Kinda looks like a concealer. Okay, so it says add to the areas you would like to highlight and define. I don't know how intense this is. So we're gonna just put a few drops, boom, boom. I'm gonna do maybe just two drops because I don't feel like I need that much luminosity and a little drop here. You know what? Let's get ham and go there. Let's see what happens. Mm. If it's too much, I can also just kind of drag whatever's left over to my brow bone. So we'll see. Let me grab a brush. Just a basic brush to blend this out. Do you have shimmer? Kind of, but no. Tip of my nose, although a lot of people say that they think I got a nose job. No, girl. At some point in my life, I wanted one. You know, as kids, you kind of feel like you want to change things about you, but then I eventually like grew to love myself and I changed my mind, so. No, no nose job over here. Mm. And then I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna blend here. Okay, so it's kind of like a highlighting concealer, but it doesn't have any coverage, if that makes any sense. 
It adds the lightest luminosity that you see in the tip of my nose. I like this. It just gives you like this clean canvas, beautiful illuminated vibe. And I'm so digging this look and I'm so happy I kept this simple. I really am. There was one more product for me to try here that I haven't tried before that I was going to try. And that was an Illamasqua lipstick in the shade Bang. Like this is definitely your everyday beautiful nude. <laughs> and I'm excited to use it, but I'm not gonna use it today. I decided that instead we're gonna go red. We're gonna go bold. The eyes are simple, the face is sleek and just And I missed out on using the KVD uh, liquid lipstick that I got in a beauty box recently. I think it was a chic beauty box. So we're gonna go ahead and use uh, this one. It is in the shade Outlaw. I haven't owned this color yet, so I'm really excited. It looks really vibrant. Okay, okay. This red is definitely fire and I'm into it. It looks good. And I love how matte and like, I just love the KVD formula, I really do. Okay, so here is the completed look. Of course, I'm going to list the products in the description box for you guys. I'm not going to add links. I don't have an affiliate link. I don't have any of that. I don't have a discount code for any of it. I do know that these products are really nice. If you're able to snag them, give them a shot because I feel like these are going to be staples. I'm still staring at myself. I feel like these are going to be staples in my vanity here, which I'm revamping as we speak. If you already own any of the products that I've shown you today, let people know in the comments section how amazing they are, whether they work for you or not. That way they can like get your feedback as well, not just mine. I don't want to be fully biased, but guys, it's good, all of it. Even the dollar foundation and concealer, my under eyes are looking phenomenal right about now. And that is a wrap for today's video. Thank you for spending a few minutes out of your day with me. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.